Hello, this is Tahmina Khan. So now I am here with the video number three on complex number, which is based on past paper question. In the other two videos, I have covered the concept of complex number and loci of the complex number. So now let's see two past paper questions here, two or three. Let's see. So this question says that a sketch an argon diagram of this complex number, right? So complex number Z, where Z is this thing. So what does it remind you? If you have to sketch it, and because it is inequality, it means it is talking about some region. So it means four plus four iota will be your center of the circle and radius will be two. So when question says show or sketch understood what I will do very clearly. Let's see what is the next part of the question says. Next part of the question says okay, once you have gotten your loca, uh, loci or locus, now for that locus, find out the distance between P and Q. Now what is P? Because nothing is here, it means it is origin. So from origin, the distance should be between P and Q. So these are the extreme values basically. And similarly here, from origin you have to find out two angles, alpha, beta, and you have to cover the region between them. So you have to find out the value P, Q, alpha and beta. So let's see how we will find this out. So first of all, we will sketch a complex um, loci of this Z minus 4 minus 4 iota less than equals to 2. Okay, so here is the center of the circle and the radius is 2. Now the dotted line because it was um, sorry, it was uh, less than equals to, I should not draw do dotted line here, it should be a solid line, so let me make it solid. Okay, so now I have drawn a um, locus of a circle which has a radius 2 and center 4, 4 iota. Now I have to find out the distance of this locus from origin because this is the meaning of it and the smallest distance and the largest in between which uh, my region is lying. So if I see here, last I have told in the earlier video here also, the line passes through the center of the circle which is the diameter give you the greatest distance from origin and the beginning this much will be give you the least. So this is my P which is OP and this is my OQ. So again I know the center of the circle it means I know these length, 4 and 4. By Pythagoras theorem, I can easily find this out, which is equals to root 32. So if I have to find out OP, what will I do? Root 32 minus 2. And if I have to find out OQ, root 32 plus 2. So this is how I will get the values of P and Q. So next part of the question says that find out the region covering between these two angles. So again, this is the circle we have already drawn. So from the origin, because when it is saying only Z, it means from origin. So from origin, if I draw a smallest angle and the greatest angle, it will be two tangent. So one tangent is here, the other tangent is here. And we know from the center um, properties of the circle, that the two tangents will be equal in length and we also know that uh, the line if I draw from origin to center will bisect this angle. Anyway, so to find out alpha and beta because it is argument of z minus 0, so at 0 if I draw a horizontal line which is already here, this is my alpha and this much is my beta. So the region is actually between them. It is this region. So I have to find out this alpha and this beta. So I can say between these two, the region is lying. So let's see how we will do it. So before I show this, show you the solution, you think about it. And let's see you can think or not. So I'm giving you just a few seconds. I can't give you too much time. You know this length? 4 because you know this point. 
you know this length yes so you can easily find out the length OC okay which you have found in the previous part and that was root 32 okay so it means if I know that it is root 32 then this angle C O T I'm giving it a name T I can easily find out tan inverse 4 over 4 which is pi by 4 so and I don't need to do this you know why because if it is 4 comma 4 point and this is origin so what comes in your mind what type of line it would be if you remember your uh, earlier classes y equals to x line right so this line which is coming from c to o it will be y equals to x so this angle is pi by 4 so without doing this calculation also I know that angle is pi by 4 anyway now I have to find out this angle <clears throat> right if you remember the property of circle radius and tangent make 90 degree so when you draw from the external point a tangent to a circle if you draw a line from radius it will be perpendicular to it right so now it means I know this length because it is the radius of the circle which was which was 2 so now I know this is 2 and I know this is 32 root 32 so I can easily find out this angle here short angle so I can say COS now this is my COS so COS equals to sine inverse 2 over root 32 so simply trigonometric ratio I'm applying to find out the angle so this is small angle is coming 0.361 so my alpha will be this whole was pi by 4 right till here so pi by 4 minus 0.361 will give me alpha which is 0.424 now let's come back here before I show, the, show you the solution of angle B alpha is 0.424 and we know this is small angle is 0.361 and remember in the explanation earlier I told you if I draw the line from here to the center it will bisect this angle so if this is 0 0.361 this is also 0 0.361 so I will add them up and add alpha into it so this is what I am doing here to get the angle beta so this is how I will get the value of alpha and beta so let me show you the diagram once again so that you have no confusion left behind Now let's see another example of the past paper question and um, this is an interesting question. I find, my experience is that students find this question a little challenging. Um, in the Argen diagram this loci and this loci if you draw right and question is saying that it would intersect at the point P. Now that point P you have to find out in this form this is the whole question so what it is about then express the point P in exponential form okay so now uh, if I look at this what does it remind me it means my point will be 0 comma 2 iota and there I will draw angle pi by 6 and this reminds me I will draw perpendicular bisector at this point and this point right so let's see once we sketch and um, these two loci will intersect at a point P and then we will convert that point P into R E iota theta form. So first of all this um, form I have changed into a general form. So it is 0 plus 2 iota form pi by 6 and these are the two points at which I will draw my perpendicular bisector. So here are this is the point I'm drawing pi by 6 so I drew horizontal line here and these are the two points so now one thing I hope you understand if this point is 3 and this point is also 3 means 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 so what will be the perpendicular bisector y equals to x right again so there are certain things which based on your previous knowledge so you have to use your common sense also anyway so now this line 
when i will draw perpendicular bisect it will be pi by 6 so it is understood that this angle is pi by 4 and this angle will also be pi by 4 because this hole is 90 and it is bisecting it so this loci and this perpendicular bisector are meeting at p so i have to find out at this point r e iota theta form which is this so r is basically the length of p from origin and theta the line op is making with the x axis so this to i have already found just by drawing and with my previous knowledge it is pi by 4 okay so now how we will find out this length can you think of something this is something you already know i can give you a hint that you will apply uh, some trigonometric rule here okay so let's see we know this length is 2 right we know this is pi by 4 we know this whole thing is pi by 2 plus pi by 6 why because we draw horizontal line always when we draw the argument of z angle so this is pi by 2 this is pi by 6 so i know this angle i know this angle if i add them up and minus from pi i can get this angle agree so is something coming into your mind i have to find out the length op so now i can apply sin rule sin of this over op equals to sin of this over 2 because this length is 2 so let's see here <coughs> this is the angle i have just told you how i am finding out this angle i told you pi minus this minus this this is pi by 4 this is pi by 2 this is pi by 6 so i'm subtracting all three of them from pi to get this which is pi by 12 okay so now after that i am applying sin rule here so this is pi by 12 sin pi by 12 over 2 is equals to sin pi by 6 plus pi by 2 Oh, sorry 9 over op so then it is calculation part i got 6.69 so i have to express my answer in this form so my r is 6.69 my theta is pi by 4 so i got my answer so thank you very much for uh, watching this video so i would say once again if you have learned something from this video uh, please do press like and subscribe and you will get my new videos notification automatically and if there is any request you want me to explain any particular question topic so you can send me the message on my email or you can send message here also so thank you very much bye bye